Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today I've got a brand new Stanley two cup cook set hack that I want to share with you. It concerns the green cups which are inside. I think you'll like it. Stay tuned. Of course, if you've ever used one of these sets, you know that when you buy them new, they come with these green cups inside. And of course, there are two of them, and they stack nicely inside, but they take up a lot of room. Sometimes you need both cups because you have a friend with you, or because of the kind of meal you're preparing, uh, you need extra containers. And of course, I've already showed you the lid that fits on top of here in a previous video. It's this lid right here, and if you're curious about it, of course, just fits right down inside and makes a great storage container. So you can carry food or whatever items you want, and with that lid on, it does fit inside of the other cup, and there's plenty of room, fits flush, and everything's great. However, some time ago, one of my viewers told me about a hack that you can do with these green cups. Didn't explain it, I had to figure it out for myself, but it's really amazing, and I wanna show it to you. Let's get to that right now. What my viewer told me was that because this is a hollow, double wall cup. There's a space in between here and you can actually separate one cup and make two out of it. So for this part of the project we need of course our green cup, turn it upside down and just a paint stick and my Milwaukee Inksol Sharpie type pen. There is a line here that you can see that goes all the way around the cup and the actual measurement is about three-eighths of an inch from the lip of the cup in. So laying the paint stick down and putting the Sharpie on top of it and making sure that this is flat, we just draw a line all the way around, just like this. And of course, you want to try to get this as straight as possible. Next, I'm going to put a, a rag down, just something to help cushion it and keep it from rolling around so easy. And I'm going to take a small hacksaw. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start very carefully scoring this line. And you want to just go slow at first. Now you don't want to cut real deep. You want to take your time and go all the way around following that line. And just keep doing that until you get it scored all the way through once around. I guess since I'm using a hacksaw, this really does qualify as a Stanley hack. Once you have that scored all the way around, it's going to look something like this. And that helps guide. Otherwise, it'll skip around on the cup while you're doing this. The next thing you want to do is you just want to continue to cut just a little bit at a time, rotating the cup as you go, and just go very slow. You don't want to cut all the way through it. This outer wall is very thin, maybe about an eighth of an inch. You just keep cutting all the way around. After a while, you'll begin to tell that the cup's getting loose and you'll find the spots where it's hinging and so you want to take and you want to lightly release those areas test it again and just keep rotating it and rolling it to the tight areas again we don't want to cut it too deep and I can tell that we're we're almost there just want to keep working with it a little bit here and there and there it popped loose and now look we have two perfectly good cups and they still nest and it doesn't take any more room than it did before. Now as far as cleaning up these edges, just want to take a piece of sandpaper and just go all the way around here on the outside and the inside. Just get all of the burrs off. After you use the sandpaper on the edge, take a lighter and very gently warm up and burn off all of the little plastic hairs all the way around the lip of the cup and that will help smooth it back down. So after you've done that your edges will be nice and smooth. Of course you can sand those down even more if you wish but that's sufficient so it doesn't uh, cut your lip and it fits together again really great and so now we have our Stanley cup set and we have four cups. Of course everything still stacks and nests and what's nice about it is our lid still fits in the top one because it has that thicker lip around it so now I have a container that I can carry water I can store things in such as rice or beans or whatever I'm going to be cooking 
and I still have a drinking cup. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below. And while you're down there, you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up to take great survival and bushcraft training classes here at our beautiful facility in Southern Ohio. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time. <music>